Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, welcome. Good evening, welcome, teacher. my dear students, welcome. How are you? Thank you. Hey, people, today is one day before our last day of classes. Hoy es nuestro día antes del último día de clases. Yeah. But, hopefully, ya todos se inscribieron para el otro, vea. Yes. Ya va a empezar, ya casi. Vamos a la semana. No, I think it's going to start on Monday. Si no me equivoco, ya la otra semana inician. So, porque la anterior dieron una semana. Sí, Pero no vamos ahora... a tener receso. No, vacation. <laughs> no, it's, it's better. It's better if you don't have vacation. Si no tienen vacaciones, es mucho mejor. Porque pues si vea, vamos con más rápido. So hopefully it is going to be like that. Well, welcome. Today we are going to work a little bit on uh, one of the last units of our book that it's about sports, okay? So we're going to talk about sports and that is one of the last activities we are going to do. All of you almost finished the platform, right? Ya todos terminaron la plataforma. Creo que solo hay uno de ustedes que me han dejado algunos ejercicios en 88, 87. So please, I need you to check that one, okay? Todos los que hayamos dejado algún ejercicio en 86, 87, 90. Please, I need you to check it. Necesito que nos vayamos a revisarlos si hemos dejado algún ejercicio a medias. ¿Hay alguien aquí que le haya quedado algún ejercicio a medias? que no lo haya completado. It is important that you complete everything on the platform, okay? That you complete every exercise on 100. So everything is going to be done and complete by the end of the module that is tomorrow. So by now, everything should be complete. So today we have here the presentation of the day and it is about sports and abilities. Yesterday, we were talking about food, food and things that we do with food, the different recipes and all that. And for this one, we're going to talk about the sports and abilities. Do you like to play sports, people? Or it is something that you don't do that much? Do you like to play sports? Yes, teacher, no teacher? Uh-huh. Do you like to play sports? ¿Les gusta jugar deportes? Practicar. Good evening. Hello, Sandrita. Yes. Good evening. Yes. Antes jugué. There is a difference, right, between play and watch. Do you watch basketball. sports? Hey, you play basketball. That's nice. Yes. Let's see. Violeta, do you play any sport? Do you play any sports? ¿Juegas algún deporte? Yo lo jugué. In the past, right? I used to. Yes. I used to play. Uh -huh. Violeta, your microphone, sweetie, is off. Tu micrófono está apagado. Uh -huh. Ride a bike. Ride a bike, okay. Ride a bike. bike riding, bike riding. It's, that's a good sport. Very good. Oh, what about Cynthia? Do you like any sport? Sim. Which one? Mm. I'm skating in Escrima. Okay, fencing. Say fencing. Fencing. It's Escrima. Okay, fencing. And ice skating. Good. Skating. <clears throat> Patinaje. Damisela, which one? No, teacher. <laughs> no sports. No. <laughs> well, but the, the dancing, 
Zumba dancing, el baile y yes. todo lo que yes. practica. Sí. That's a sport. So it is considered one of the sports. Sandra, do you play any sport? No. No, any. So, solo caminar, pero no sé cómo se dice. Walking, walking. Ah, walking. Good. Walking. What about Jamilet? Jamilet, do you practice any sport? Uh -huh. Jamilet, do you practice any sport? Practicas algún deporte? Maybe she's she's having issues with the internet. Uh, let's see. Hello, hello. The music, no teacher. No. <laughs> that one is not a sport yet. Aún no lo consideran deporte, así que we need, we need to keep it in that. So, from these ones, um, we have different things, right? Sports are one thing and abilities are another thing because in some cases we have good abilities, for example, that we are good at writing poems, that we are good at makeup, that we are good at doing the hair, that we are good at doing the nails, for example, those are abilities. And sports are another thing, right? Algunos son buenos para los deportes, son muy deportistas y todo, y otros tienen otras habilidades, right? Jumping, running, uh, singing. We have many other things that we are good at. So we are going to think about all that as well. Do you practice sports? That's the question that I did. And my next question is, do you watch any sport? Do you watch any sport on TV? Do you watch? Do you watch? Watch. Yes. Do you watch? Any, no, I don't. You don't watch any sport on TV. Yes. Any, which one, Rosita? Ah, uh, este. Football. Soccer. You watch soccer. Soccer. Yes, soccer. soccer. Good. <clears throat> Who else? I don't watch sports on TV. Yo no veo ningún deporte. Just when my husband is watching that I watch, but it's not my thing. What about the rest of you? ¿Qué tal los demás? No? You don't watch sports? I don't like. I don't watch, like. You say. You watch sports. Soccer, no. Okay, no, I don't like to watch soccer, you say. I swim. Okay, you swim. You swim. You swim, or do you like to watch that sport? ¿Lo haces o lo ves en la tele? No, lo haces. Okay, that's good, I do it. So I swim, you say, I swim. I swim. I swim. And the last question, what is your best ability? What is your, what best, is your ability? best ability? ¿Qué quiere decir best ability? What is your best ability? ¿Cuál es tu mejor habilidad? What is your best ability? Uh, best ability. You can say, I am good at mathematics. I can dance. I can swim. Um, I don't know. I can sing. La, 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 la. I can uh, cook. Decir, analizar, teacher. Como analyze. 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 If you are analytical, right? You are good at the analysis of things. Uh -huh. Me gusta. What is your best ability? Piensen en su mejor habilidad. ¿Qué es lo, lo que mejor podemos hacer? What is your best ability? Uh -huh. Let's think, what are the things that you can do very well? Okay, Mireya, Danielito, Vilma, Jamilet, and Ana Leticia. I don't, I cannot see your cameras. If you can help me with that, that's, that would be beautiful. Thank you, Mireya. Roberto is on the street, be careful, okay? <clears throat> Any ability, chicos, habilidades? Cool. Cook, okay, to cook. I can cook, you say. It's one of my best abilities as well. I can cook. 
I can speak English. <laughs> so that's an ability. <laughs> what is right. another ability that you have? Uh -huh. Who can dance? 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 No one? Oh. Who can, um, let me see, uh, use computers? Who can use computers very well? Excel? Can you use Excel? Who can use Excel? No one? Oh, con las fórmulas. Okay. Las fórmulas y las gráficas me han sacado. <laughs> OK. Tenemos cursos también en inglés corporativo de Excel. <laughs> Pero en inglés, inglés, teacher. Inglés corporativo también tiene cursos de Excel. Ay, 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 Excel quiero yo. <laughs> <laughs> you can write down on that one as well. English and Excel. So who can, uh, let me see, who can edit videos? No? Create TikToks? No one? <laughs> no, teacher. That's not an ability that you have. Who can, uh, I don't know, organize the house very well? Quien puede organizar la casa muy bien, tenerlo como super. Ordenado. That's an ability, definitely. <clears throat> Let's go with the basic ones. Who can fold clothes? ¿Quién puede doblar ropa? Pero sí, in a good way. Not like me, that is like, nah, nah, all the clothes in the closet. No one? Sí. A ver, enseñenme el closet todos. <laughs> no, teacher, no. Okay, to keep a garden, that's another ability. Yes. To keep a garden. Who can fix cars? ¿Quién puede arreglar las cosas del carro? Cambiar llantas, cosas así. No, Solo los hombres, no I can do it. Yo puedo cambiar llantas. No? Yes. I can drive. I cannot drive, but I can change the, the tires. So, Think about your abilities, people. Think about the things that you can do very well because those are the things that we're going to be talking about today, okay? So, when we no. talk about, yes. No. Deja deja eso. Niño, deja eso. <laughs> we use, Ay, for example, cierto. read read and write. Those are abilities, right? Read and write. Many people cannot do it. Hay muchos que no pueden, así que that's an ability. When we talk about sports, we have three different categories to consider. The sports that go with play, with go, and with do. The sports that go with play, for example, here, I am going to make it bigger. So lo puede ser grande para que lo podamos ver. Here we go. <clears throat> Are the ones that use a ball. Todos los juegos que incluyan el uso de una pelota, okay? Todos los juegos que incluyen el uso de una pelota. <ríe> es que mío es un chucky. Dame se la cama. Son malía, pero no, no chucky. The ones that include a ball. <ríe> the board games. And the musical instruments you play. Okay? Play football. Play basketball. Play volleyball. Play tennis. Play rugby. Play games. Play hockey. Play the guitar. Play poker. Okay, play cards, play chess, play dominoes, play a computer games, play basketball, play the violin and play the drums. Okay, todos los que incluyen una pelota, que sean juegos de mesa o que sean instrumentos musicales, usamos play. Okay, I play soccer, I play the guitar, I play the violin. Okay, with go, we use go with activities that finish in ing. For example, go sailing, go cycling, go riding, go skiing, go surfing, go swimming, go diving, go dancing, go swimming, right? With ing forms, you say go. No podemos decir, I play sailing, I play skiing. No, I go swimming, I go surfing. But with boxing, you say I do because that's a practice game. I do boxing, the one, right, when we fight. And the last one, we do activities that do not use a ball, 
and that do not end in ing. Si no usan pelota para jugarlo y no termina en ing, do. Do athletics, do gymnastics, do judo, do karate, do kung fu, do yoga, do ballet, aerobics, zumba, aqua gym, a crosswalk, a puzzle, and a sodo. And for sure, I can send it to you. Okay. So those are the ones that go with play, go, and do. Here you have it. play, go, and do with the different sports. So now you can remember all the different games who have, for example, a ball, and that you use a ball to play them, you use play. The ones that end in ing, go, and the ones that do not use a bolt and do not end in ing, do, okay? So those are the three forms that we need to remember about sports, okay? I am going to send it to you right now. I will, do it, I will do it right now. Here we go, okay? Play, go, and do. Here we, have, here we have a short conversation about sports. And it says, <clears throat> so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Well, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. <laughs> He's a very good athlete on television. So in this one, it says, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Go with me, practice with me. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? So Justin, oh, Justin. what do you do in your do you do do you do free time? Well, I love sports. Well, I, I, love, love, sports. I love sports. I love, I love sports. Really? 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 What sports do you like? What, what sports, sports do you like? Do you like? Do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are a really good athlete. Wow, wow. you are a really good athlete. Athlete. When do you play all these sports? When, when do you play, play uh, sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. Oh, oh I don't play, 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 play this sport. sport. I just watch them on television. I just I watch, watch them play. on television. I just watch them on television. I just watch them on television. I just watch them on television. Very good job. So. In this case, he is good at sports? No. He is good at watching sports on TV. What are the sports that he is talking about? ¿De qué deporte nos está hablando? El soccer y basketball. Hockey, baseball, and soccer. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites, right? Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. And in this one, it says like he doesn't play these sports, but he watched them on television. Okay, so here we have different questions with simple what questions. What, what, what sports, sports do you play? Here you go. Let me just share here. En esta tenemos diferentes preguntas and we're going to mark the different questions that we have here. For example, the first question that we have okay. here is, what sports do you like? What do you do in your free time? What is another question that you can identify? ¿Qué otra pregunta podemos identificar? 
When do you play and this? when do you play all these sports? All these sports. And the first question, do what do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre? So I ask you, what do you do in your free time? ¿Qué hacen ustedes en su tiempo libre? I watch TV, I play sports. I watch the television. I watch, I watch television, I, I read. I watch television, read it. Okay, I, I read. Listen I listen to music. Okay, en este caso, para responder, usamos presente simple, right? And you say, what do you do in your free time? I read, right? I read, I cook, I play video games, uh, I go to the gym, I I sleep. <laughs> I sleep. I clean the house. And all these things. What are the activities that you do in your free time? And here you have all these examples, right? And the important thing to follow here is that you use simple present to answer, right? Usamos el presente simple. El sujeto más el verbo. I read, I cook, I play video games, I go to the gym, I sleep, I clean the house, I go outside, I dance, right? The different things that you do in your free time. What sports do you like? You can say, I like soccer, I like basketball, I like tennis, I like swimming, right? When do you play all these sports? La pregunta, when do you play? Estamos investigando un momento específico en el que se hace. When do you play these sports? On Saturdays, on Sundays, at night, in the morning. I don't know. When do you play it? Cuando los juegas. When do you play all these sports? And he says, I don't play these sports. I watch them on television. So these are questions, WH questions with simple present. What is the difference? between these two sentences right here. Le puedo escribir dos oraciones aquí. Let me just give me, okay, no, I am going down. And I will erase this ones. Okay, between these two sentences, I have this one. Do you like sports and <laughs> What sports do you like? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre estas dos preguntas? Do you like sports and what sports do you like? Una es directa. Uh -huh. La otra es what? Que... La otra es what? Information okay. question, right? This is a direct question and this is... Las dos son preguntas. The two of them are questions, right? But this is direct with a yes or yes. no. We have a direct question with yes or no. And this one is a WH question uh -huh. that it's an information question. An information question. Why? Because you need... An answer, you need extra information. And aquí no le estoy preguntando solo si le gusta. The first question is direct. Do you like sports? Yes or no? Do you like sports? Yes or no? No. No, you say. No, teacher, no, a mí no me gustan. Si le digo a Nubia, do you like sports? Yes or no? No. <laughs> no. no, Rosa. I like. No, I don't like, right? Say no. I don't, I don't like. Rosa Maria, do you like sports? Yes or no? No. No. Violeta, do you like sports? Ya no. Ya no. Ya, ya no. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice eso? Sí. <laughs> yes, Violeta. No, 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 I don't like. No, I don't like. Sandra, do you like sports? No, I don't like. No, I don't like. You see, that is the first question. Yes or no? Tenés dos opciones. 
the respuesta, yes or no. But if I say, and this is different, what sports do you like? ¿Qué deportes te gustan? I need the information. And in that case, you say, well, teacher, I like tennis and soccer and basketball, American football. Teacher, pero esta pregunta no es que uno lo haga, no que, que nos guste. Ajá, exactly. Ahí es ah, como, yeah, ¿qué, yeah. ¿qué deportes te gustan? ¿Cuáles te llaman okay. la atención? Because for the other form, it will be what sports do you practice? Uh, yeah. If I say what sports do you practice in this in this case, you have to give me the ones that you do. Aquí sí lo que usted hace. no hay okay. opción. What sports do you practice? And you say, no, teacher, I don't practice any sports. Mm -hmm. Yo no practico ninguno. So that is the difference between these two types of questions. Yes or no, and information questions. And here I have more examples. Y aquí es donde vamos que tengo más ejemplos para ustedes. And it says, what sports do you play? I play hockey and basketball. Who do you play baseball with? Con quien juegas baseball? And it says, I play with some friends from work. We have a team, right? Tenemos un equipo. Where do you play? Donde juegan? Where do you play? How often do you play? Que tan seguido, right? How often do you play? When do you practice? Que significa esa? When do you practice? Donde practico. No, when. When. Cuando. Cuando. And what time do you start? Que tiempo. Cuando. What time? A que horas comienzas. Que tiempo. A que horas. A que horas comienzas, right? A que horas comienzas. And there you have the answers. What is the answer for what sports do you play? ¿Cuál es la respuesta para what sports do you play? I am. Hockey and baseball. What do you play baseball? I play hockey and baseball, right? I play hockey, I play hockey. and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. We have a team, right? Where do you play? Donde juegas? We, we play, play at Hunter Park. We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? practice. We practice once, or once, a week. once or twice a week, right? Una o dos veces a la semana. Cuando lo hacen? When do you practice? We practice, we practice on Sundays. We practice on Sundays, right? We practice on Sundays. And the next one that we have here. Wow. It says, you. what time do you start? A que hora comienzas? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning, we start right? At 10 o'clock in the morning. The question what, nos referimos a qué en general. ¿Qué deporte juegas? Who, ¿a qué nos referimos con who? ¿Con quién? quién? ¿Con quién? quién? Very good. ¿Con ¿Quién, quién? ¿Con quién? Where? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? How often? ¿Qué tan seguido? ¿Qué, ¿Qué tan seguido? seguido? When? ¿Cuándo? 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 ¿En what time? ¿A qué hora? ¿A qué hora? Good, very good. Vamos a ver si es cierto. I have here a little practice. Aquí tengo una práctica para ustedes. Así que sí, teacher, ya entendí. Very good. Ajá. <laughs> In this one, we need to pay attention. Tenemos que fijarnos muy bien. It's my favorite. Oh, favorite, favorite. 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 Okay. Favorite. Favorite. Here you have the answers. Right? On the answers. You have to check on the answers. And you are going to know what to use on the question, okay? Le voy a marcar las respuestas y ustedes van a saber qué van a poner en la pregunta. And it says here, for example, 
And it says, soccer is my favorite. Esta era la respuesta de esa. So it says, soccer is my favorite. So in that case, you need a question with what? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. Si yo les pregunto y la respuesta es on Sunday afternoons, ¿qué necesitamos en la pregunta? When. When. Exactly like that, because you are answering with a specific time, right? When. And it says, when do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. Completemos las otras cuatro y después me dan las respuestas. Write it on your notebook. Write the other four questions on your notebook. Copien las cuatro preguntas en su cuaderno. The ones that are missing. At my friend's house, once a month, one o'clock, and my sister. Okay, practice with this one. Let me share it with you. Okay, se la voy a compartir estas. And the pictures of the adverbs of frequency. Of the questions, sorry. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to share this once. And I am going to share this other, okay? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, I have both. Okay, so there you go. I need you to complete the rest of questions. I need you to complete the other questions. Right here you have on Sunday afternoons, at my friend's house, once a month, one o'clock, and my sister. I need you to complete the questions. I will give you three minutes to finish. Tres minutos para terminar. Here you have three minutes.
is over. Let's check on your answers. Here we go. I need the first question. The first one that we had here, la primera que teníamos era eh, when, right? Debíamos puesto la primera, que era when. When do you usually watch soccer? Because you have on Sunday afternoons, tenemos una fecha específica. What about the next one? Tenemos at my friend's house. ¿Qué necesita? Where. where, why, ¿por qué vamos a poner where? No están preguntando el lugar. Because we are talking about a place. Very good job, Majorly. Very good job. About once a month. How often? How often, right? How often? How often? Because on the answer you have about once a month. Tenés como una frecuencia definitiva, ¿verdad? Una vez al mes. What about the next one? Usually at about one o'clock. Como a la una, sí. What time? What time? What time? Right? What time? What time? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. And it says, do you usually go with my sister? <coughs> sister. Who? 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 Right? Who? Very good. Who do you usually go with? My sister, come with us next time, right? I go with my sister, come with us next time. Very good job. So let's practice the questions, right? Let's practice conversation number one. Lo voy a practicar con Violeta. La conversación número uno. Yo soy la A, tú eres la B. Okay. I watch sports on television every weekend. What sports would you like? Wish. Soccer is my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. And where do you usually watch, watch it at home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Nice, Violeta. Very good job. Very good job. Nubia, let's do the second conversation. Vamos a la segunda. I am the A and you are the B. How often do you go bike riding? Oh, about once a month. Once a month, once a month. Once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? With, with, with. with. My sister, come with us next time. Very good job. Nice, Nubia. Very good job. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> you are doing a very good job. Let's go with Roberto. Roberto and Mireya. Roberto is letter A and Mireya is letter B in conversation number one. Van a ser la primera, okay? Okay. There you go. I watch I watch a sport on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. My when favorite. do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Very good job, right? Very, very good job. Conversation number two, okay? Conversation number two is going to be for, okay, here have conversation number two. It's going to be for uh, Damisela and Isabel Morejón. How often do you go bike riding? Oh, about one, oh, once a month. I, I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Sunday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. Who do you usually go, go with? My sister come with you next time. 
Come with us next time. Very good job. Very excellent job. Nice. Sandra Beatriz and Roxana Yasmin, conversation one. I oh. was. <laughs> okay, Roxana is A and Sandra is B. I watch sport and television every weekend. Really, what sport do you like to watch? So, soccer is my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. And where do you usually watch? It is at home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. He has a really big television, right? Very good. He has a really big television. And it says, where do you usually watch it? At home, right? Donde lo ves usualmente? En tu casa? He said, like, no, at my friend's house. Good. Conversation number two. Uh, I am going to ask Wendy Lisette and Rosa Maria. Okay. Good night. No, Hello. good evening. Good evening, sweetie. <laughs> How often? La do, Yes, number two. How often do you go bike riding? Rosita, your microphone is off. Sorry, teacher. No worries. Or oh, about on a month. Once a month. Once a month. Once a month. I love go to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Really? What day do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, dear. What, how do you usually go with? My sister. Ah. Come with us next time. Excellent. Who do you usually go with? Con quien vas generalmente? Who do you usually go with? Okay. And my last participation for right now, it's going to be, let me see, Fatima Ibin. Eh, and let me see, Mayerle Alejandro. El uno o el dos. Fatima is number one, A, and Mayerle is B. Okay. I watch a sport on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. <laughs> Very good job. Very excellent job. I have here the last conversation here. And it says, what sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. I usually play with my sister and some friends. ¿Qué pregunta tendríamos que hacer aquí? I usually play with my sister and some friends. Huh? Who? Who, what, who, who play, do you play, who, who? Miren la pregunta anterior. So let's go here. Let's go here. Veamos la pregunta para que se ubique. Who, who do you play soccer with? No. So you say, who, tenemos, I usually play with my sister in, and some friends. So you say, who, do, do you, do. Play. Who do you play with? With. Con quien juegas, right? Who do you play with? Or you can say, who do you usually play with? De cualquiera de las dos maneras está correcta. Who do you play with or who do you usually play with? I usually play with my sister and some friends. The next answer is we practice on Saturdays. ¿Qué pregunta tendríamos que hacer aquí? We practice on Saturday. When, when, when do you practice? When do you practice? Practice. When do you practice? We practice on Saturdays. Very good. We start at about noon. Empezamos alrededor de mediodía. 
What time? What time do you start? What time do you start? Very good, nice. And the last one, we usually play in the yard, but we sometimes play at the beach. Where do you play? Where? Okay. Where? Where do you usually? Porque tenemos usually en la respuesta, right? Where do you usually play? Play. Where do you usually play? Nice job, right? We need to focus on the answer. We need to pay attention on the answer. But if I say, for example, uh, if we have only the question, you know what to answer, right? Who do you usually play sports? Ah, with my brother, with my sister, with my husband, right? When do you practice? On Fridays. What time do you start? I start at seven in the morning. And where do you play? I play in my house, right? That is a good practice for the questions. And in here, I have another conversation, right? Hoy tenemos aquí otra conversación. So it says, do you know? Okay, I need you to analyze the conversation first. Analyze la primero and then you stay. If you have questions about vocabulary. Y ahí vemos si tienen preguntas de vocabulario. Go ahead. Analyze it. Teacher, what's the meaning? Huh? Questions about vocabulary? What is contest? Contest. Okay, what is the meaning of contest? Concurso. Thank you. A talent contest. Es un concurso de talento. Lento. Let's enter. Let's enter. Let's enter. You always have a very good friend, right? Nosotros siempre tenemos una buena amiga, buen amigo que nos anda jalando en todo. And you say, hey, that's, there's a talent context. Let's enter, right? It's like, metámonos. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, they say, let's enter. It's like, inscribámonos, entremos, démosle, metámonos. Let's mm -hmm. enter, right? Another question. No more questions on vocabulary? At all. What is the meaning of at all? I can sing at all. No puedo, pero para nada. I can sing at all. Any other one? At all, para nada. At all, it's para nada. At all. At all. I can't at sing at all. all. Para nada. Okay. Which one, Damisela? Veo la pregunta en su <laughs> And it says, oh, look. Okay, imagine that you have a, that you have a, a sign right here. Okay, let me just make a sign. Right? Imagine that you see the sign and you say like, talent contest. Talent contest. You say like, oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing very well. <laughs> Thanks. Well, you can sing too. Oh no, I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. 
okay? They convince each other to enter to the talent contest. So you say like, oh, look. They say like, hey, mira, mira lo que hay. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing very well. Ah, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Practice with me. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Oh, oh look. look, there's a talent, a talent contest <laughs> on Saturday. No, no, no me convencen a ir al talent contest. Teacher, you are the same Okay. How would I call your attention to say, Teacher, look, there's a talent contest. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, con, con feeling. Vamos a ver si no, no me va a convencer a leer talent contest. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Oh, look, there's a talent contest. Okay, okay. Oh, look. Oh, look. There's a talent contest. Let's enter. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. I can enter a talent contest. I can enter a talent contest. Ok, como cuando le decía a tu amigo, está loco vos. No, hombre, ¿cómo vas a creer? I can enter a talent contest. Right? Ahí ya cambiamos el feeling, porque el primer feeling es así de, oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Metámonos, démosle. Y se le, I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? Ok, ahí ya cambiamos el feeling. Ok, let's see. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? I can enter. Can a really well. I can enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? What can I do? Y ahí va el convencimiento. Me sigue convenciendo. No, hombre. <laughs> you can sing very well. <laughs> you can sing very well. I'm the Ella lo va comprando. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Well, oh, you can yeah. too. Can too. Well, <laughs> well, you can too. Oh, well, thanks. you can too. Well, you oh, get, no. you can too. Oh, I can uh -huh. too. Y el otro dice, hace el sufrido y dice, oh, no, oh, I can't sing, can sing at all. I can't sing at all. Pero se le sale el ego y dice, but I can play the piano. <laughs> But I can play the piano. But I can play the piano. Play the piano. Uh, so maybe, maybe we can or, enter the talent contest. Maybe we can enter the talent contest. Maybe we can enter the talent contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Let's practice tomorrow. You see, totally convinced. You say, sure, why not? ¿Por qué no? Right? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. So in English has this magic that you need to put the intonation on it. Okay. Si no le ponemos la entonación necesaria al inglés, se va a oír plano como el español. And you say like, it, it, si lo leemos como lo leeríamos en español, sería como, oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday, let's enter, I can enter a talent contest, what can I do? You can sing very well, oh, thanks, you can too. Oh, no, I can sing at all, but I can play the piano, so maybe you can enter a talent contest, sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. That is like Spanish, así leemos en español. But in English, you have to give this intonation to give the feeling of this one. When you say, oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing very well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. You see the difference? You feel the English, right? Yo, yo creo que mi, mi, 
mi Natalie de español y mi Natalie de inglés son dos gemelas distintas. <laughs> so, that is the magic of English. You need to use intonation because if not, you don't give the message. Practice with me. You are Philip and I am Kayla, okay? Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Oh, look. Momento. You are Nosotros Philip. Éramos Philip. <laughs> okay, aquí no ha pasado nada. Somos oh, look, people. there's a talent contest oh, on look. Saturday. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. You are Philip. Nosotros somos Philip. You are Philip. Todos somos Philip, ok? Todos ustedes son Philip. Yo soy la, Ke <risa> la Keila. Ah, Philip. Okay. Adelante, Keila. Okay. ok, ustedes son Philip. Va, go, Keila. Dice, ahí yo voy, Keila. Go, Keila. Oh, look, okay. there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can 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 You can sing very well. Oh, I know I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe Sure, why not? Okay. Okay, let's practice right now. You are Kayla and I am Philip. Okay, one, two, three, go. Okay. Oh, oh no. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing or sing. Wow, thanks. Well, you can too. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. sure. Why Why not? Not? Okay, let's okay. practice tomorrow. <laughs> Very good job, my dear students. Very nice. So in this one, we were using sentences with can and can't, okay? Can es, el, es como la forma gramatical más fácil del inglés. Porque es yo puedo o no puedo. Y usamos can and can't with all the subjects. We don't change anything. Con can no cambiamos absolutamente nada. You can say I can sing, she can sing, you can sing, he can sing. It doesn't change, right? You use can for affirmatives, que sí lo puedo hacer. I can and I can't, I can't with negatives. So you say, I can sing, I can act, I can dance, I can swim, I can't sing, I can't act, I can't dance, I can't swim. Tell me, if I ask you, can you sing? Pueden cantar? Can you sing? So you say, I can, I sing, can sing or I can't sing. I can't sing. <laughs> okay. Can you act? I can. I can, I can do. I can act. I can. <laughs> I can. Ese, ese año en la escuela de actuación no fue por gusto. Can you act? I can act, right? I can act. Can you dance? I can dance. <laughs> I can. Okay, can you dance? And remember in this one, it has to be very marked. Tenemos que marcar muy bien la forma negativa. So you say, I can and I can't. I can't. Si no la podemos marcar, digamos mejor, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. La forma negativa, cuando nos cuesta marcarla, decir can't, podemos decir, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot sing. I cannot dance. So you mark that it's a negative. Can you swim? I cannot. No, I cannot. No, I can't. No, I can't. Can. No, yes, I can. no, it's okay. It's okay. Si podemos, podemos, si no, pues ni modo. And for this one, the abilities, the abilities when you mark it with can and can't, you say, for example, here, I can sing very well. 
can you sing? Yes, I can, right? There you have the different forms, right? With all the subjects, you can use can and can't. Con todos los sujetos de the I, you, we, and they, podemos usar can y can't. No le cambiamos nada al verbo, el verbo se queda igual. I can sing very well. I cannot sing at all, right? That is the easiest grammar topic. Yo creo que can y can't es el grammar topic más fácil del inglés. Can you sing? Can I sing? Can he sing? Right? Can she sing? And you don't change it. And for the answers, yes, I can. No, she can't. Okay. See you Monday. Bye. See you Monday. Come on. Ya es cierto que ya terminamos, pero no me saquen así. There you go. So, this is the final topic of the book, okay? Este es el último tema de nuestro libro, pero lo vamos a terminar de ver el día de mañana. And we just have a couple of practices right here. Like teacher Nati, can you draw? I can't draw, right? I can't draw at all. I can draw very well, right? There you have. I can act. I can't sing. I can fix cars, right? Abilities with can and can't. Este va a ser nuestro último tema el día de mañana. Mañana. I am going to call the attendance right now. And when you listen to your name, you can go to sleep, okay? Tan pronto vayan escuchando su nombre, se pueden ir a dormir. Okay, so I am going to call the attendance. Eh, important, antes que nos vayamos. Si han dejado algún ejercicio en 80, en 90, termínenlo a que quede al 100%, porque eso también lo vamos a ver el día de mañana, que su plataforma esté completamente al 100%. Okay? So, if you are missing any exercise, let me know. Si les falta, necesitan ayuda, me avisan. Ana y Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Ana Yamilet. Ana Yamilet Cruz. Anita. Ok, no voy a ir, Anita. Cintia Marisol. Present. Daniel Edgardo. Danielito. Present. Thank you. Patty Maivin. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Mayerle Alejandra. I am here. Mayerly Amilet. She's connected. Mireya Beatriz. Present. Mirna Yasmin. Oh, creo que no se escribió en el chat que no tenía. Internet. Eh, Nelson Efraín. Nelson here. Nubia Daisy. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina Jael. Reinita Jael. Roberto Carlos. Rosa María. Present teacher. Roxana Yasmin. Have a good night. Roxana Yasmin. Present. Thank you. Roxana Yamilet. Sandra Beatriz. Present. Good night. Not here. Have a good night. Verónica Elizabeth. Verónica. Verónica. Ok. Vilma Concepción. Eh, Vilma Isabel. Present teacher. Thank you. Violeta Elizabeth. Present teacher. Wendy Lisette. Present teacher. Good Thank night. Thank you for the misela. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Have a good night and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you, Violeta. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful night. Vilma Isabel, have a good night. And Jamilet, have a good night as well.